Hey everybody, my name is David Post, I'm Managing Director for Corporate Development and Strategy at Chainlink Labs, and I'm super pumped today to be joined by Nate Holiday, co-founder of Space and Time. Um, Nate has an interesting story in terms of kind of how he got to where he is, and I'll let him tell a little bit about his relationship with Chainlink and how this uh, idea came to pass. So let's start with that. Uh, give us a kind of a brief rundown of, of how State of Space and Time came to being and the, and the problem you're trying to solve. Yeah, no, thanks for having me, David, and, and great to talk with you. Look, at the end of the day, I spent the last decade in, in database and data warehousing industry. I spent a tremendous amount of time at Teradata and then worked with a lot of fintech companies uh, within the private equity space to, to drive growth within the fintech space. At the end of the day, one of the things that I've realized is over the past decade, we've built these centralized uh, black box point solutions in the data industry. Uh, and, and as I started to get involved in Web3 uh, with Chainlink, and Chainlink's a, a brilliant bridge from Web2 to Web3, because it's all about the data ecosystem. It's all about how do you interact with data in, in, in corporations, with the individuals and the constituents across the web. And so it became a very easy bridge for me to learn about Web3 and to get into the space and understand truly the power and software behind all the protocols within Web3. So it was, a, it was a brilliant kind of on-ramp for me to understand the data ecosystem and how it's evolving in the world of a decentralized um, data environment. And, and in that effort, you realize that a couple of things. One, one of the things I realized was that at the end of the day, uh, even decentralized applications today are all built on centralized databases. They're all built upon the databases that we've created over the last decade. And the whole cloud transformation just kind of snowballed this centralized data aspect of the world at a, at a higher rate of speed. And so as we think about what the future is and how we work with, with users and constituents of the future, a decentralized world makes a lot more sense than a centralized world. And so they became this kind of great opportunity to build a, a DAP interoperability platform where people can build on a decentralized database where there's no single user and owner of the database. Uh, nobody can turn switches on and off of that database and control that over a period of time. So it became a really exciting opportunity. Uh, and, and I think that the, the exciting thing for, for me and, and for the co-founders of Space and Time is that there was already a data ecosystem to harness and power. At the end of the day, you know, we're not interested in building from the ground up a new data ecosystem across the world. Chainlink provided this brilliant platform, this brilliant data ecosystem that we could harness and participate in and really focus on what we do really well, which is building databases, building data warehouses. Yeah, I think that, um, you know, we, we've been working obviously together since November of 2021. Um, you know, we worked together on the first iteration of the deck, the second iteration of the deck. Uh, for the audience out here, Nate was actually an advisor to me in my job at Chainlink. So it's been uh, amazing um having watching you and the team run super fast I, you know for the audience this is probably the fastest moving team i've seen since i've been in the space so really making a lot of progress and what i think is really interesting about the infrastructure you're building is that when people ask uh you know about new infrastructure projects they're like you know tell me the use cases and when i you know as you went through your fundraising process and we talked about this i thought about chainlink so when chainlink was was first trying to come to market Everyone said, well, why do you need a piece of infrastructure like that? And of course, uh, Chainlink as a network has become fun, you know, foundational for all sorts of use cases within Web3 and the emergence of DeFi and all sorts of amazing things. And I think that the work that you're doing to allow dApps to exchange information in real time, to you know, send commands back and forth based upon analytics, and to really use data to enrich their business processes and their overall business functionality is, is really going to have a, a major impact and probably create use cases that we haven't thought about yet because the infrastructure doesn't exist to enable them. So that, that's why I'm particularly excited about what you're doing. And obviously we're, we're super pumped that you're building uh, within the Chainlink ecosystem. Um, so you put together an amazing funding round, um, you know, tell us a little bit about who's in the round um, and uh, just kind of like your general experience going through the fundraising process. Yeah, no, absolutely. I, when, when we talked about this in November, I remember, you know, you're talking about, you know, possibly bringing this to market through the Chainlink ecosystem. And, and I got really excited about it for, for all the reasons that you, you, you stated previously, that the use cases are endless, right? We have the ability in DeFi and GameFi 
in insurance uh, and to extend beyond this into finance and to, into the government spaces to really build really unique set of use cases. Um, the, the, the challenge for us is, is where to start. And the Chainlink uh, startup program gave us a, a brilliant kind of uh, support system to determine where are we gonna drive the most value in the near term? And then how do you really put a focused organization, team together, advisors together within the Chainlink ecosystem to really drive inherent value now? Look, use cases are endless. Everyone has great ideas, but how do you really execute on that? How do you trust a team that, that, that is experienced in the industry to lead you through this process, getting into Web3 and, and starting in this adventure? Uh, so, so, you know, we've been really excited to be part of the Chainlink family. Uh, we, uh, as part of that process, we, we met some very fantastic partners. Uh, we closed a, a seed round led by Framework, uh, and we were able to raise $10 million in this seed round. Some of the, you know, awesome backers in this organization as well from, from, from the seed round perspective. We have, you know, DCG, Stratus, Samsung Next, IOSG, uh, Alchemy Ventures, Dispersion Capital, et cetera. Um, we also have really top name brands around the gaming platforms, Ready Player Now and Stardust. So as, as we started to think about how to impact kind of the largest kind of capabilities for our use cases, we really relied on Framework, Chainlink, and the rest of the organizations to really think through, you know, how are the first use cases going to be the highest impact? And then how do we align our, our, our partnerships along, along those lines as well? Yeah, I think you've got a, a great collection of uh, thought partners and strategic partners. And, um, you know, within Web3, of course, it's it's a lot about community. But I think just more generally in any type of business, it's around the people that you surround yourself, both your, your fellow uh, employees, people who are advising you, your investors. And um, I think it's really awesome. Uh, I really enjoy working with the group that, you know, we have jointly assembled. So I want to thank you once again for, uh, for your engagement, uh, for your partnership. And um, I'm super excited about all that's to come and looking forward to uh, seeing how what you're building is really going to transform our industry. No, thank you, David. And really excited to be part of the Chainlink family and build this with Chainlink and the ecosystem that, that the platform provides. So really exciting opportunity for us. Uh, with that, everybody, I uh, just uh, hope you enjoyed a uh, high level overview on space and time. This is part of an ongoing series that we do with uh, Startup with Chainlink projects. If you're, a, if you're a builder or a founder, uh, please check it out, uh, Chainlink Labs uh, startup slash startups. And uh, looking forward to hearing from you and uh, working like we have with Space and Time to help you also do awesome things in our space.